Hello ladies and gents, it's Hagbard Celine here on another beautiful afternoon, and in my travels on the internet today, I stumbled upon something that can only be described as, well, I've gone too deep. I was looking for a simple refutation, a fun light video, more than likely it was going to be feminist slam poetry. However, in my recommended videos section, directly after searching under these terms, this came up, and it auto-played. And I just could not stop myself from bringing it to the attention of my viewing audience. I hope you'll enjoy, and there are no further words to describe what we're about to see. All I can say is that I will not be linking this video, because you can try and find it on your own if you'd like, but I'm not going to encourage that anyone go over and frankly bully this individual that is just so easily bullied. That being said, Let's just roll the video. I have decided to pause here to allow my audience the appropriate amount of time necessary to come to terms with the imagery that we're seeing right now without the audio playing as well, without the madness that's about to come. Let's just breathe for a moment. Let's, let's get this out of the way and then, and then we can proceed. Let us take note of the artwork in the background that appears to have been drawn by a schizophrenic or a toddler. Let us note also the bowl in the side of the shot here that is partially eaten or emptied. Let us note the fuzzy pink bathrobe. Let us note the fuzzy leg. Let us note the fuzz on the lip. And let us all just breathe. Just breathe. Fourth wave feminist. Mystic meets techno hope, free bleeding to my knees. That's what 4chan trolls would have you believe, but I'm more about cybernetic parts. So on top of everything else you have going for you, you're also an android? Ripping our uteruses out like bras to be burned. The next generation will be born inside machines. That is a terrifying fucking face to have snapped to after you were just smiling so big. That is fucking nightmarish. I am so glad I didn't find this video until after I was allowed to start drinking again, because I'm going to have to eject this from my memory as soon as it's done. You have nothing to fear of AI. Except for how privileged minds might try to limit their perspectives, because if our oppression is true... Computers will see that, too. So by that statement, I am led to believe that you are awaiting the coming of the AI Christ. We are the eye of the revolution, the calm at the center of the storm. Lover once said I was a hurricane coming to my center. Nope, nope, no thank you. No, I will totally hard pass on coming in your center. We'll be safe here. Let buildings and corporations fall, vertical farms rise, earth ships in sacred circles drawing up the truth of the earth. I thought at the beginning of this you were trying to refute the fact that most people who were called feminists were flighty, mystical-believing nutjobs like yourself. And in all seriousness, if you're over 15 and you still think that the end of Fight Club is a good idea, like this person appears to, you should really look into how one would go about supporting oneself in a society described above. We tried to kill the gods that lived here. Bless that we failed. Bless that we failed. The wreckage remains. Gods never fall. Well, first and foremost, if that were true, why is what remains being described as a wreckage? And secondarily, I do enjoy peeling back the multiple layered onion of crazy that you've provided with me here. Exactly what gods are you describing? Which ones are you endorsing? The old Native American gods? Are we going to go back to the way of living that existed before the Industrial Revolution? Ideas live on. They made me a meme. Wait, wait, wait. Does, does this person mean that they're already somewhat internet famous, having been made into a visual joke that has been passed around several circles online? Or is she describing herself as 
The technical definition for the word meme as founded by Richard Dawkins. I'm truly not sure here. Granted my dream's immortality, oh, the power those who hated have given me, let me whisper love from the depths of my core, well brainwashed, rich babies cling to unreality. Z says as Z has Zer lip with a fucking ring in it and is covered in a pink robe living in the first world, who believes in non-reality, things that are not empirically true. Of course, it's everyone else that doesn't see reality because they don't see it through the twisted lens that you have dictated upon yourself. The future is inevitable. Change must come. <laughs> Essentially speaking, beware anybody that says that phrase. The internet is not forever, but the shared mind it created will never die. You honestly believe that without the tool of interactivity and the distribution of those ideas that the distribution and single-mindedness that those ideas have found on the internet would continue to thrive? How exactly would that work? Of course, you have to say that the internet won't exist for long or forever because otherwise you would have to accept that some form of industry had to remain and, well, we all know that that's a bad thing. Are ghosts are still with us, immortal dreams born out of religion, waiting for this moment, all prophecies which are lies made for us to live and deny. That is the Antichrist consciousness lives inside. I have nothing to add here. The fact of the matter is, I actually rewatched that little segment about seven, eight times, and I couldn't make heads or tails out of what she or Z or whatever is trying to say there. Hack all our religions, one shared reality. We are becoming gods who do not die. Some may choose to live as mortals, and that's just fine. We threaten your existence with our insistence that you can choose. Oh, so just like 95% of believers, your desire to believe in whatever the hell it is you're pseudo-describing in this kind of poem is derived exactly from your fear of death. That's really what this is all about, isn't it? It's, it's your desire to be immortal. We can choose. Yeah, but can we, though? I do not know if I want to live forever. I hear ghosts' kisses on other side, and I know there is so much more to find. Fucking what? I hear ghosts' kisses on other side, and I know there is so much more to find. I mean, really, what the fuck? Who'd have thought after centuries we dreamed of living forever, fearing death, we fear undeath, real life even more. This is by no means a novel, nor a particularly deep thought, dear. You do understand that, right? That's one of the basis for why vampires are scary, and why being turned into one has potentially negative ramifications, aside from the whole blood-drinking murder thing. I do not dream of a dystopian future. Heaven on Earth is now. Upload me to the collective mind. May I trust the world to be good enough that I can return to my place in the afterlife. What makes you think that the internet would operate as your safe space? It isn't operating as your safe space now. Hell, I'm doing this. What makes you think this kind of thing wouldn't happen if we were all cyber entities? Fuck, I can't believe I just made a point about being cyber entities. Do you see what you're making me do? Do you see the madness you're making me argue? Leave your stones and cell phones at the altar. Selfies are sacred magic. Define your own existence. Send sigils out. The ghosts, the angels, are waiting for your call. Okay, well, now we're all going to see that in our fucking nightmares. One more time, in slow motion for good measure. That's right. Look deep deep within our souls. Now, before the comments section fills up with people proclaiming that this person is clearly a troll and they don't believe anything that they're saying, and they, no, you're dead wrong. If you were to find this person's page, which again, I will not be linking, 
If you were to find this person's page, you would see that they were indeed a full-blown and defensive Tumblrina. And they say that in their own videos, in an alternate video I found by this person. They are actually offended at the concept of being called a Tumblr Special Snowflake. When indeed, they identify as all of the things that one would need to identify as to be qualified to be called a Tumblr Special Snowflake. That being said, I'm about done for the evening, and I hope everybody enjoyed this. I'm keeping these relatively short for the next couple days due to the influx of new subscribers. I would like to give them a chance to familiarize themselves with my alternate channel as well, as any videos that exceed the 15 minute mark will have to be posted there, and I no longer post active links here using short videos. I simply post them on my timeline. So if you'd like to check those out, feel free. If you've missed any, I'm sorry. I hope everybody had fun. I'll see everybody on Saturday. Good luck and stay safe out there. Goodbye.